Okay, this video we're going to be doing uh, garlic pesto uh, pork chops. I'm kind of doing this all on my own today because I don't have somebody to run the camera. So um, kind of bear with me on this one. We're going to do f the first part tonight because um, these have to sit at least for three hours. So I'm just going to do it overnight and we're going to finish the video up in the morning. So here's the first part. pork chops all salted and some pepper on them um, pesto's pretty easy it's uh, basically just a uh, garlic some parsley and a um, little bit of olive oil so we'll get that going put that in the food processor okay so we got our oil in there and put Parsley and then garlic in there. And okay, so we got all that done. Just gonna mix that in there a little bit. Actually, have tried this recipe before. Um, I have one of them on my page. The only difference is the last time I didn't marinate it, and I don't think they quite came out as good. So, okay, now that we got the lid on, we're going to pop that in the in the fridge. Let that sit till tomorrow, and we'll finish our video. Oh. Okay, so we already got our pork chops all ready to go. Um, we're going to sear them first and then we're going to bake them for a little bit. Um, not too long, but we're going to steam some cauliflower and stuff to go with it. They're pretty good. They've been marinated overnight, so should be nice and marinated Get as much of the pesto on them as we can Sear those and put them in the oven. Okay, so we got our pork chops pretty much seared. Um, it does say cook thoroughly. Anyway, we got those done. We're gonna throw some shallots in there before we cook them. And we're just gonna toss them in the oven. One on each. And preheat the oven to 400 degrees. And slide them on in there. And we're going to let them bake for a little bit. Just kind of keep an eye on them. Just tell them, you know, you're brown or whatnot. Um, and we got them in there. Okay, so we're all done. We got it uh, out of the oven. They look pretty good. Um, I've done this before, so these these turn out really, really tasty. Um, so we're just gonna make us a plate and have something to eat. Okay, and there you have it. A little cauliflower, some rice on there. Um, I'll put the uh, the recipe in the description. 
And if, like I said, if you ever have any questions or anything like that, please subscribe if you can. Um, I like hearing some feedback, so feedback's great. Uh, questions, stuff you maybe you want to see something, me cook something. Um, it'd be awesome. Well, have a good night.